Existing versions of kubectl and custom Kubernetes clients contain provider-specific code to manage authentication between the client and the Google Kubernetes engine. Starting with version 1.26, this code will no longer be included as part of the OSS kubectl. GKE or Google Kubernetes engine users will need to download and use a separate authentication plugin to generate GKE-specific tokens. This new binary, gke-gcloud-auth-plugin, uses a Kubernetes client Go credential plugin mechanism to extend kubectl's authentication to support GKE. Because plugins are already supported by kubectl, you can switch to the new mechanism now, before version 1.26 becomes available. This video explains the commands as how to install this plugin and also how to verify the installation of this plugin with kubectl plus what to do if you face any errors. So these are the commands which, we, which you can use. So you will need to install the gke-cloud auth plugin binary on all systems where kubectl or Kubernetes custom clients are used. To install the binary, you can use any one of those following methods. The first method is through gcloud component install and all you need to do is to run the following command gcloud component install gke cloud auth plugin and this is the recommended way of doing it the other two methods are also applicable the uh, out of the out of the other two methods the first one is for the debian based system where you can simply run sudo apt-get install command to install this plugin um, but for the rpm based system you can use yum install command to do the same in order to verify the installation the first command uh, which just shows a version can be used on the linux distributions whereas the second command can be used on the windows which has the xe if you face any error even after this installation and verification you can use the following three steps to verify these errors and to fix them first and foremost install the plugin and then make sure that you update to the latest gcloud tool using the cloud sdk and you can simply use the command gcloud components update once that's done then rerun the following command by replacing the cluster underscore name with your own cluster name and I have seen that most of the time this fixes the issue. So I hope that this helped you out. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.